But of course, I know that the Obamas are not the only ones who feel like they're part of the Biden clan, because Joe's heart has radiated around this room. Uh, you see it in the enduring friendships he's forged with folks of every stripe and background up on Capitol Hill. You see it in the way that his eyes light up when he finds somebody in a rope line from Scranton, <laughs> or just the tiniest towns in Delaware. You see it in the incredible loyalty of his staff, uh, the team who knows that family always comes before work because Joe tells them so every day, the team that reflects their boss's humble service here in this building where there have been no turf wars between our staffs because uh, everybody here has understood that we were all on the same mission and shared the same values. There's just been cooperation and camaraderie, and that is rare. It's a testament to Joe and the tone that he set. And finally, you see Joe's heart in the way he consoles families, dealing with cancer backstage after an event, when he meets kids fighting through a stutter of their own. He gives them his private phone number and keeps in touch with them long after. To know Joe Biden is to know that love without pretense, service without self-regard, and to live life fully. As one of his longtime colleagues in the Senate, who happened to be a Republican, once said, if you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, you've got a problem. He is as good a man as God ever created. So, Joe, for your faith in your fellow Americans, for your love of country, and for your lifetime of service that will endure through the generations, uh, I'd like to ask the military aide to join us on stage. For the final time as president, I am pleased to award our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. <laughs> 